Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we're delving into The Five Love Languages, a transformative guide by Gary Chapman that reveals the secret to lasting love through understanding unique expressions of affection. Chapman introduces the concept that people experience and express love in distinct ways, unveiling the five universal love languages, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Empowering readers to navigate the challenges of modern relationships, this book provides insightful strategies for recognizing and practicing these languages to foster a nurturing, affectionate, and compassionate partnership. Whether you are looking to reignite the spark in your marriage, navigate through a rough patch, or simply ensure your partner feels loved and appreciated, The Five Love Languages is your essential guide. Gary Chapman isn't just an author, but a seasoned pastor, public speaker, and marriage counselor who has dedicated his life to helping people build and sustain healthy relationships. His experience extends beyond his writing, hosting a nationally syndicated radio program and serving as a senior associate pastor at Calvary Baptist Church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This book is a must-read for partners eager to understand the dynamics of marriage, couples striving to salvage their bond, and anyone yearning to attend to their partner's emotional needs while also having their own fulfilled. Join us as we explore the wisdom that has helped millions worldwide decode the language of love. The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts Introduction, Unlocking the Secrets of Heartfelt Communication in Your Relationship Picture a symphony of emotions, each note echoing a distinct language of love, with couples worldwide orchestrating their unique tunes. But just like in an orchestra without a conductor, the absence of a common language can lead to a cacophony of confusion and discord in relationships. Ironically, although we may share our home and life with our significant other, we often find ourselves lost in translation. When it comes to expressing and receiving love, the realization that we may be speaking different love languages is like uncovering a hidden dimension to our connections. Each of us has a primary love language, a predominant way of expressing and understanding love, whether it's through words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, or physical touch. Understanding the nuances of these languages is akin to finding the Rosetta Stone for your relationship. Imagine, for a moment, your Mark or Andrea, a couple whose marriage is teetering on the edge of discontent. It's bewildering. You're both continually making efforts to show affection, but somehow end up feeling unappreciated and unloved. As you navigate through this narrative, you will discover the pivotal role love languages play, not just in their story, but in everyday interactions between partners. But here's a curious twist to the tale. Did you know that the impassioned state of being in love typically fades after about two years? This revelation isn't intended to dishearten, but rather to illuminate the path forward. It's a journey from the euphoric, chemistry-driven inception of a relationship to a deeper, deliberate cultivation of love that transcends the initial infatuation. And it's not just about the grand gestures. Even a poorly chosen Christmas gift can be a telling sign of miscommunication. What may seem trivial is, in fact, a crucial indicator of how well partners are attuned to each other's love language. Lessons gleaned from such seemingly small missteps can significantly influence the well-being of a relationship. As you delve into the core concepts presented here, you'll not only explore the landscape of human affection, but also gain insights into recognizing and honing your own dialect in the language of love. This is more than just a summary. It's your guide to fostering a deeper connection with your partner, transforming the way you communicate, understand, and ultimately, how you love. Part 1. Navigating the Emotional Fuel Gauge of Love and Affection In a world bursting with enchanting phrases and adjectives, love is like a chameleon. Its myriad definitions entwine through our daily lives, 
shaping our simplest joys and deepest bonds. Yet, amidst this kaleidoscope, it's paramount to hone in on the version of love that sustains our emotional well-being. Consider love as an anchor for the soul, fundamental to our existence as breathing is to life. Renowned thinkers through the ages have echoed the sentiment that without love, life is bereft of its full resonance. However, beyond its poetic allure, love is also a basic psychological need, necessary for a stable and fulfilling emotional state. The quest to define love in the context of your emotional nourishment challenges you to sift through its various manifestations. We casually declare our love for inanimate comforts, hobbies that ignite our spirit, and for cherished individuals who form the fabric of our lives. Yet, within this tapestry lies the thread of romantic love, a potent force sculpting our emotional edifice. If we consider the metaphor of a love tank, akin to the fuel tank in a vehicle, we begin to understand love as the sustenance that powers our emotional engines. This concept is not mere whimsy. It is supported by the findings of child psychologists who reveal that unmet emotional needs, such as love and affection, can lead to emotional instability. The vitality of filling this tank cannot be overstated, especially in the context of marriage, where a full tank becomes the bedrock of a healthy, thriving partnership. Take, for example, one of the episodes recounted by the author, where a client firmly believes that material wealth, be it lavish estates or luxury vehicles, holds no candle to the warmth of genuine love. The insight is clear. While worldly riches may furnish our lives with comfort, they falter in kindling the intimate flame that keeps our emotional gauges operating at optimum levels. In essence, understanding and nurturing this human need for love are not just philosophical endeavors. They are practical pathways to ensuring your emotional well-being and sustaining the vibrancy of your most treasured relationships. Part 2. Embracing the Evolution of Love and the Art of Communication Imagine love as a vibrant firework display that illuminates the night sky. It's the initial burst of light that captures everyone's attention with its awe-inspiring beauty. This is the wonder of falling in love, a period that infuses life with joy and colors our perception with optimism. But as every spectator knows, the display is transient, and as the sparks fade into the dark, what remains is either the dark void or the chance to light a new, enduring flame. For many couples, the post-honeymoon phase can feel like a rude awakening. When the intoxicating in-love experience begins to diminish, often after around two years, according to psychologist Dorothy Tenoff's research, reality emerges in stark relief. It is a transition arduous enough to quell the fervor of even the most passionate of romances, the disheartening effects of the waning, falling in love stage call for a resolute answer, and communication stands as the bedrock solution. Four. When the instinctual urge that initially drives partners together starts to ebb, there emerges a need for deeper, more conscious effort to engage in emotional exchange. Effective communication is not just about relaying information. It's about tapping into the reservoir of feelings, needs, and desires that define us as individuals. It plays a crucial part in navigating the shift from the instinctive attraction of the in-love phenomenon to the deliberate ongoing act of loving. Real love, a term that transcends the ephemeral glow of infatuation, embodies the choice to be vulnerable, to actively listen, and to courageously express oneself. It's about recalibrating expectations, not just hoisting them onto your partner, but actively learning to decipher their language of love. It is, above all, a shift towards embracing a new mindset, where love is not merely stumbled upon but consciously built and nurtured. As you venture through the evolution of love in your relationship, recognize that it is this persistent, sincere communication that becomes the kindle for a long lasting connection. It's the soft, resilient glow that ensures the darkness is held at bay, even long after the initial sparks have vanished into the night. Part 3 Discovering Your Partner's Love Language 
the key to lasting love. In the rich tapestry of human interaction, love has its own intricate dialects. Just as we interpret spoken words or read subtle gestures, the way love is conveyed and received hinges on an intimate understanding of these dialects known as love languages. Remarkably, these languages extend beyond mere words. They are the lifeblood of our relationships, shaping how we connect and the depth of our bonds. Navigating through the complexities of love languages demands keen attention and openness to learning. For couples, this journey is akin to exploring a new cultural territory together, where success lies not only in the ability to express affection, but also in becoming fluent in recognizing and understanding each other's unique emotional dialect. The fascinating dynamic within any relationship is that despite shared experiences and habits, partners often have distinct love languages. It's a rare and serendipitous match when two individuals naturally share the same primary love language. Hence, the nuances of how we feel and exhibit love can vary greatly leading to misconceptions and disconnects even among long-standing partners. Consider the story of Mark and Andrea, a seemingly harmonious couple united by their love for their children, yet plagued by feelings of emotional isolation. While Mark was nourished by the language of physical touch, Andrea thrived on quality time. Their inability to recognize and engage in each other's love language left each with an unfulfilled longing for connection. The quest to understand your partner's love language is therefore not just an act of curiosity, but a commitment to the longevity and happiness of your relationship. In this narrative, we shall unravel the grammars of all five love languages, offering insights on how to discern which one resonates with your partner and ultimately ensuring that your love story is one of mutual understanding and lifelong fulfillment. Part 4. Speak love through the melody of words of affirmation. In the dance of love, words can be as stirring as a symphony. Their power to uplift, to embolden, to soothe, are tools of affection as timeless as love itself. Xenophon, an ancient voice of wisdom, understood the enduring sweetness of praise. His insight is a cornerstone in understanding the love language of words of affirmation, where the right phrase can be as valuable as the most precious of gifts. To master this language is to harness the art of verbal compliments, pure, sincere, and delivered from the heart. Imagine recognizing your partner's new hairstyle, or their wisdom in navigating a tricky situation with the kids, or even their unwavering support. These are the simple, potent words that weave the tapestry of affirmation. Your partner's soul can be nourished by these verbal treasures, and you'll find that their confidence and love glow brighter for it. Expanding your repertoire is as easy as being observant. Keep a notebook where snippets of inspiration found in daily life, phrases from literature, television, or conversations with friends, can be noted and adapted into your own vernacular of fondness. Crucially, the tonality of your words impacts their reception. Transforming statements from demands into requests imbues them with a gentle strength, an invitation rather than a command. When articulating desires, ensure that they come across as guidances steeped in love, not ultimatums cloaked in frustration. Consider the woman, wearied by a bedroom unchanged despite numerous pleas. With the author's counsel, she pivoted from focusing on the undone task to championing her husband's accomplishments, no matter how minor. This shift in language from criticism to commendation stood as a testament to the magic words hold. In a matter of weeks, what months of nagging couldn't achieve, recognition and gratitude effortlessly did. Remember, to speak love through words of affirmation is to realize that kind congratulations Warm encouragement and humble appreciation are not mere words. They are the life-giving rain to your partner's emotional garden. Embrace this love language and watch as your relationship blossoms under the nourishing shower of your heartfelt words. Part 5. Cherish togetherness through the gift of quality time. Within the relentless rush of modern life, 
where distractions abound and time seems ever fleeting, lies a profound truth. The heart of romance beats strongest in shared moments. This is where we encounter the second language of love, quality time, a currency more precious than the shiniest of coins, a treasure sought after by those craving true connection. What does quality time entail? It goes beyond the mere proximity that finds couples in the same place, yet worlds apart. It's the gift of undivided attention, the art of being fully present with your partner, where every other aspect of life is momentarily hushed. In this silent space, love echoes loudest. It's where we communicate that, above all else, we value one another. Consider the misconception that being nearby equals spending time together. It's like assuming that being in a library makes one learned. Couples often find themselves physically close, like two ships anchored at the same port, yet never truly sailing together. Watching a game or half listening while lost in the digital world doesn't cultivate the depth of connection that quality time demands. But what does crafting quality time look like in practice? It's divided into two forms, engaging in meaningful conversations and participating in activities that resonate with one or both partners. The latter is not merely about the activity itself, but about the shared experience and the love that is exchanged in the process. For example, let's take Emily and Jeff. Emily is an avid reader who finds solace and excitement in the aisles of bookstores, while Jeff doesn't share the same passion for books. Yet, he joins her in these literary escapades, not for the books, but for the shared joy it brings Emily. He becomes a companion in her quest, assisting in her discoveries, and in doing so, speaks volumes of his affection. Emily, understanding Jeff's effort, respects his limits and ensures their time is balanced, resulting in a mutually fulfilling endeavor. Such shared experiences weave a rich tapestry of memories that couples can fondly look back upon. They solidify the foundation of the relationship, piece by beautiful piece, as both partners express their love, respect, and appreciation through the simple yet profound act of quality time. Part 6. Show love through the timeless tradition of gift-giving. It's a tradition as old as time itself, transcending borders and eras, the act of giving gifts. Like vibrant threads weaving through the fabric of societal rituals, gift-giving is a universal symbol of love and union. Appreciating the significant role of this practice unveils another love language, the language of receiving gifts, a visual and tangible expression of affection that holds a unique place in the dance of love. To articulate love through this language is to realize that each gift bestowed is a physical manifestation of love's presence. For those who cherish this language, every present, regardless of price or size, becomes a cherished emblem of thoughtfulness and care. Gifts are much more than mere objects. They are the embodiment of love, captured in tangible form. When it comes to choosing gifts, the guiding principle is attentiveness. Taking note of past presents that have lit up your partner's eyes, consulting family and friends, or reflecting on your partner's hobbies and desires, all lead you to perfect selections. The secret lies not in the lavishness of the gift, but in the intention behind it, the meaningful process that begins with the thought and culminates in the act of giving. Consider Doug and Kate's narrative as an illustrative tale. The halting of gift exchanges in their marriage left a void for Kate, whose predominant love language was rooted in the act of receiving gifts. Misunderstanding had crept in, with Doug associating gifts with financial burden. Once enlightened by the idea that the worth of a gift isn't measured by its price tag, but rather by the sentiment it carries, Doug embraced the custom anew. The resurgence of spontaneous tokens of love blossomed into a clear message for Kate, dispelling her feelings of emotional neglect and affirming Doug's enduring affection. Embrace this cherished practice and let your gifts be love made visible, for in the heart of one who speaks this love language, each gift is a treasured whisper of, I love you. Part 7, Acts of Service, the love language of lending a helping hand. In the intricate ballet of love, actions often speak louder than words. 
For many, the most resonant declaration of affection comes through practical support. It's the language of acts of service. It's the everyday deeds that contribute to a well-run home and a well-tended relationship, where your partner's needs become actions you willingly undertake. Engaging with this language means venturing beyond your comfort zone to embrace chores that bring comfort and ease to your partner's life. These gestures could include tasks commonly taken for granted, cooking, cleaning, or maintaining the household. Although seemingly mundane, each act performed with love transforms routine obligations into profound expressions of care. This language, however, carries a vital caveat. Acts of service cannot be extracted as dues. They must be given freely. Genuine love does not traffic in the currency of obligation. The question to ponder is not what your partner can do for you, but rather what you can do for your partner. In this spirit, each act becomes a brushstroke in the masterpiece of your shared life. Yet to fully honor this language, one may need to confront and cast aside outdated notions of gender roles. The responsibility of nurturing a home and family does not fall exclusively to any one partner. Breaking free from ingrained stereotypes allows for a more equitable distribution of labor, one based on love rather than outdated conventions. Look to Mark as an example. Raised in a household where domestic chores were the sole domain of women, he recognized the critical importance of setting aside such prejudices to support his wife, Mary. By redefining his role and sharing in the tasks of home care, he spoke volumes of respect and devotion transcending traditional expectations through acts of service. An act of service is more than just a task completed. It's a statement of solidarity, an offering of partnership, and a heartfelt gesture that echoes, I love you and your well-being is my priority. Part 8. Cultivating connection through the warmth of physical touch. From the gentlest caress to the most fervent embrace, Physical touch remains one of the most fundamental expressions of love. As nurturing as sunlight to blossoming flowers, touch has the extraordinary power to convey warmth, safety, and affection without uttering a single word. Babies provided with affectionate contact often flourish emotionally, suggesting that for many, physical touch continues to be an essential love language into adulthood. For those who feel most loved through this language, Gestures of touch are the very fabric of emotional intimacy. Whether it's a reassuring handhold, a tender kiss, or shared moments of intimacy, these tactile expressions are imbued with love. Integrating these small acts into daily life, like walking hand in hand or offering a hug in greeting, can reinforce the bond between you and your partner and keep the love tank brimming. Take inspiration from Jocelyn Green, who found creative ways to maintain physical connection with her husband while he served overseas. Proximity isn't always a luxury that couples can afford, and in such times finding creative surrogates for touch, a worn shirt, a shared picture, can bridge the gap of distance. Being physically close, the opportunities for nurturing touch multiply. Experiment with the language of touch with your partner, exploring new areas to caress, or asking them where and how they like to be touched. Remember, the guide to pleasure is personal, and open communication is the map to finding these paths. It may be useful to expand your knowledge by learning the art of massage or researching sensual techniques to further enrich your shared physical language. Be attentive, play with the intensity and variations of contact, and discover the subtle ways your partner cherishes being touched. As with all love languages, consent and comfort define the boundaries of acceptable touch. Physical abuse has no place in the narrative of love and should be met with swift action and reporting. Within the realm of consensual affection, however, the language of touch is a dialogue of devotion, a physical testament to the loving words, I am here for you. Part 9. Identifying your unique language of love. Knowledge of the five love languages is a rich tapestry, but recognizing your own primary language is the thread that can lead you out of the labyrinth of miscommunication in relationships. Discerning this personal dialect isn't an arduous quest. 
it merely requires some introspection and observation. Begin by contemplating what you most commonly seek from your partner. The prevailing theme of your requests likely mirrors your emotional desires, sketching a picture of what affirmation from your partner looks like. Then, tune into your deepest instincts, the gestures or words that make you feel most valued and cherished. This internal compass can steer you towards recognizing your love language. Moreover, the sting of emotional wounds from past relationships can inadvertently map out the contours of your love language. Reflect on past hurts, not as painful memories, but as indicators to what was missing at the time. This could possibly be the love language you are yearning for. Childhood experiences often lay the foundation for our emotional blueprints. By recalling how your parents expressed love or perhaps didn't, you can unearth insights into your preferred love language. Past neglect or moments when you felt particularly loved can illuminate your current emotional preferences. Take Ella's story, for example. Her hurtful Christmas memory, a token of indifference from her brother, served as a revelation that for her, receiving gifts was much more than a mere exchange of items. It was a language of love that resonated deeply with her. Once you decipher your own and your partner's love languages, the next step is to engage in them actively. Use these insights as a compass, guiding you towards more fulfilling ways of expressing and receiving love. Remember, identifying your love language is not just about self-awareness. It's about crafting a more profound, emotive connection with your partner based on understanding and fluent communication of each other's emotional needs. Final summary. The terrain of marriage and enduring relationships is often fraught with miscommunication and unmet expectations. But understanding the languages of love can be the beacon that guides couples to harmonious shores. Embracing the five love languages, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch, allows us to navigate the complexities of human emotion with grace and empathy. This book illuminates the idea that discord often stems not from lack of love, but from a mismatch in the ways love is conveyed and understood between partners. By recognizing and speaking each other's love language, couples can enhance their connection, ensuring that their emotional tanks remain full and the journey ahead is one of shared contentment and mutual understanding. In the end, the cultivation of these love languages goes far beyond verbal exchanges. They are the embodiment of your commitment, the daily gestures that affirm your presence in each other's lives. Adopting and practicing your partner's primary love language has the power to transform your relationship into a haven of intimacy and affection, a testament to love's enduring narrative. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.